New at 10, using adversity that he learned to deal with on the gridiron to help at this point in his life. Zach Goldich shot in the back of his neck in the Aurora Movie Theater shooting. And tonight, 7 News reporter Lindsay Sablon showing us how he's using that experience to do more in his community. The daily grind and lessons to overcome hardships on the gridiron have been useful to Zach Goldich off the field. The mentality is, you know, you don't complain what you can't control and you move on the best you can. The incoming freshman Ram says it's been a year of highs and lows, but it's his extended family who's really helped. You know, I always kind of go back to the football team because that's what's truly developed me. You know, the coaches from, you know, Justin Hoffman and just like the entire Gateway staff and, you know, continuing with the CSU staff. Zach's days are like most student athletes. Wake up, eat, go to like a study session, eat again, go to school, lift and then run and then go to sleep and then do it again the next morning. But if you look close enough, a memory of what he's been through. Entry, exit, and then there's another exit right there. It doesn't really hurt at all. Zach was shot in the back of the neck inside the Aurora Movie Theater July 20th, 2012. Since then, he's lived a fairly normal life, winning MVP, attending prom, and graduating from Gateway High School. It's all about moving forward, and you gotta, just got to get over that, because I don't want to not live a teenage life. Where I can't he's live. been back to the movies since then, but sadly with a new guard. When I find myself, you know, kind of looking at the exits and, you know, feeling a little bit uncomfortable. While the shooting will always be a part of him, Zach says it doesn't define him. You just kind of like grow into the community and kind of build a reputation of not, you know, the guy that, you know, that got shot and, um, you know, survived the tragedy, but become someone in the community that, you know, has an impact to the university. Lindsay Sablon, 7 News. And in addition to his success on the football field, Zach was also a two-time state champion in the discus and an honor roll student while at Gateway.